The question I received was this. I can rotate faces around a point or axis easily in other CAD software, but not in Inventor. So can you help me out? Yes, I can. Inventor lets you do this, and let me show you how. Let's create a quick model. I've got a sketch on the XY plane, and I'm bringing in the rectangle tool. Let's finish our sketch. Activate the extrude command and accept the default parameters here. Click OK. We're on the 3D model tab. Let's go to the modify panel. And if you don't see it, just right click on the command manager, show panels, and ensure that modify is selected here. It's marked with a check mark. Here's the move face tool. We've got three options on this interface, free move, direction and distance, and the third option, points and plane. Let's take a look at all three, and we'll start with the first option, the free move. So we select the face, the triad appears. I'm going to drag the Z handle, I'll just drag it up and down. I can also enter a value for the distance moved right here. And I can grab and freely move by the center of the triad or a plane also. To rotate the face, grab and drag the arrow, and then release it when you're done. Here we can set the rotation angle. Let's click Apply and move on to the next option, Direction and Distance. So first select the face, now the direction, and I'm going to grab the handle and drag it up and down. I can also enter a numeric value right here, let's say 0.25, for example. To reverse the direction, just click here. And let's click Apply. Let's take a look at the last option now, Points and Plane. So first we select the face. Now I'm going to activate the Points command here. Select a point and a second point. And let's apply and then cancel out of the tool. And this concludes our video about how to move faces with Inventor. For lots of Inventor training, please check out my website at video-tutorials.net.